everybody, and welcome to another MicroBedrock tutorial. Yay! Today, we have another one wide build. Becoming a bit of an obsession. <laughs> Help. <laughs> See, a few months ago, I couldn't build anything without using slime and honey blocks. And now it seems I've moved on to one wide builds. When will this end? <laughs> it's gonna be really annoying if I ever try and make proper builds, isn't it? Can you imagine? Here is my one wide house. <laughs> Just not gonna work. Anyway, what are we building today? Well, today we're building a one wide hidden crafting table. This is the build. There's not really much for me to add at this point. <laughs> You've seen it working already, but let's just watch it again, because why not? There we are, we have the extension, very nice and quickly. Click the lever again. You've seen this already, but just look at it. <laughs> it's very, very nice. <laughs> now, of course, this doesn't have to be a crafting table. You can swap it for any block you like, even an anvil. Now, you may be thinking, well, by the time, man, haven't you made one of these already? <laughs> I love doing that voice. It's so dumb. <laughs> and the answer is yes. Yes, I have made a hidden crafting table before, but... It was so, so, so long ago, I thought it needed a change. Plus, this build is one wide. Why wouldn't I build a new one? And like I said, that video is so old and it really shows. It's just awful. No, don't, no, don't play it again. No, please, no. no. Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. But since there's nothing more to add, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this amazing build, you're gonna need one regular piston, five sticker pistons, six observers, two resistance repeaters, four resistance switches, one resistance block, two droppers, one comparator, one rush block, basically a block domain throwing away, one lever, one crafting table, three blocks of resistance to go on, and heavy blocks you need for decoration. <gasps> that was in one breath. <laughs> oh, and by the way, someone actually made a wrap of my previous list. <laughs> and if you want to check it out, the link's in the description. It's pretty mad. Okay, to start this build, you first need to determine where you want your crafting bench to actually be. Now what I've done here is I've laid out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, this is the width of our build. So I know that the crafting table will come up here. That's one, two, three, four blocks from the right and five blocks from the left. One, two, three, four, five. So as long as you've laid out your eight blocks correctly, <laughs> your crafting table will always come here. Okay, so now we know where our crafting table is actually gonna be. What we can do is come underneath this block here and come down one, two, three, four blocks. Remove the first three and then have two sticky pistons facing upward, one and two. And we can remove this block. So there should be a one block gap between the top of the sticker piston and this block. Now off this second block here, we need to grab a piston and place it like this to the left. And make sure it's a regular piston. <laughs> then the same on this side, but this time a sticky piston. So off the second block, we need a sticky piston. In front of our sticky piston, we need a block of redstone. And then we move our crafting table down to here. Now we've got those pistons in place, what we need to do is crouch and place an observer underneath this crafting table like this. If you don't crouch, what you'll do is just open up the crafting table. <laughs> then place a block here, one to the left, remove this one, and have a torch like this. Next to this block, facing downward, we need a dropper. Make sure it's a dropper, not a dispenser. Then place a block down like that, and have another dropper facing upward toward this one, like that. And we can remove this block. After that, come to this torch, and we need a repeater coming away from it on two tick delay. So crouch, place it down and press it once. Then have a block here and a sticky piston facing downward, which should extend. Remove this block. On top of this piston, we need a torch, which should turn off, and then have an observer here. So the face facing toward the left and the dot would be facing toward this dropper. Now in this dropper, we can place any old block you don't mind throwing away. Now place a block underneath this observer, then come underneath this block and have another observer facing downward, so the dot should be going toward the ground. Remove this block to reveal the face, <laughs> then have a comparator coming away from this block here. So this comparator is comparing this dropper. Then have an observer facing toward the right, again the dot going toward the right. A sticky piston here facing upward. Then grab another observer and place it like this, going toward this piston. Then grab our final observer, <laughs> this build is very observer heavy, and place it like this, so the dot going toward the right again, and a torch here. Then a block on top of that torch, then a torch on top of that block, 
this torch should turn off. Then a block here, and then finally a repeater here, toward the left on two ticks to the left. And surprisingly, that's everything completely done. So all we have to do now, click a lever down here, click it on, and we have our full extension, click the lever off, and we should have our full retraction. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so now we know how to build it, but how does this build actually work? Because I realized in my builds, I don't actually explain my redstone enough. <laughs> So I'm going to try and do that now to the best of my ability. I'm sorry if this goes horribly wrong. <laughs> you would not believe how many times I've tried to record this clip. <laughs> I'm going mad here. <laughs> but I'm determined to show you how this build works by the end of the day. <laughs> okay, so when I flick this lever here, first of all, this block gets powered because it's being directly powered by the lever, meaning that the torch on top of it turns off. It's inverted. Now, when this torch turns off, this observer detects that, sending a pulse into our piston, moving that block down to here, like this. Okay. At the same time, when this torch turns off, this repeater, after two ticks, also turns off, meaning that this piston is now unpowered. Now, there are two things what happens when this piston gets unpowered. First of all, this torch turns on, basically powering the sticky piston, moving the redstone block, the crafting table, and the block which has got moved down to the left, and the second thing which happens, this observer gets moved from here to here, because of course the piston will retract. So that observer goes from here to here. When our observer moves, it powers because it realizes it's been moved and it sends a pulse into this top dropper. Okay, you got that so far? So that observer is moving up, pulsing this top dropper. When this top dropper receives that pulse, it moves the block from here into this top dropper. When we have an item in our top dropper, this comparator will detect it through this block and power this bottom piston, like this. And as you can see now, we have our full extension because that comparator is powering this one directly, so it's on. And this piston is getting powered, powered? <laughs> and this piston is getting powered because our redstone block is next to it, moving our crafting table up to the top, like this. Just play it in slow motion for you so you can really understand it. <laughs> now you might have noticed also at the same time this bit moves, but we don't worry about that at the moment because they can't do anything with the pistons because they're already extended. Now, when I flick the lever off, first of all, obviously this block gets unpowered, meaning that one tick later the torch turns on. That observer will detect that torch turning on and it will pulse, but it won't do anything because it can't power a piston arm. <laughs> then two ticks later, this repeater turns on, powering this sticky piston. When the sticky piston gets powered, this torch will now turn off, retracting this sticky piston, basically like this. So we have our first retraction. At the same time, this sticky piston obviously is extending, so that observer now is moving down to the bottom, directly powering this dropper, because that observer is here, meaning that item is gonna be fired, from the top dropper to the bottom dropper. So now this top dropper will be empty, which will now turn off a comparator. Okay, so now we just need a little bit more, which is this circuit here. When this comparator turns off, this observer detects it, giving a pulse. When that observer gives a pulse, this observer detects it, giving a pulse into this piston. When this piston extends, it moves this observer up to here, which powers this piston very briefly. Now, as this piston is retracting, so is this one. So the observer is moving from here down to here. Now, when it's moved, it gives a pulse, but it will try and give a pulse to this bottom piston, but it won't be able to, because this one is still basically extended. In inverted commas, it's not extended, but it's still moving. And of course you can't move an extended piston. So when this extends up and down, the only piston to move is this one here. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> now, when this piston moves, this observer detects it, sending a pulse into this torch, meaning that this torch, for a very brief second, turns off. Now, in that very brief second, this block unpowers, which powers this torch, which powers this block, meaning that this piston can now move its block across, like that. And at the same time as this block very briefly unpowers, two ticks later, this repeater very briefly unpowers, which will send a pulse into this observer. This observer will detect that, basically pulsing that bottom piston there. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Oh dear, I'm slowly losing my mind here. 
like that, okay? So again, I'll do a slow-mo so you can see it working. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please, please, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with our wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next one. And I'll see you later. Bye! -bye.